Hello YouTube, this is DXLinkJ here with a Minecraft video. Um, ah, man, that intro, I've tried that so many times. Well, so, here's the thing. I've been just thinking about it for a long time, and I've decided that I want to make a computer in Minecraft. And it's going to be a simple, basic one, but I've thought to myself, well, other people are doing it, so maybe I want to give it a shot. And I've never done something like this before, and I like to challenge myself, so I'm going to try and build one. Um, and I haven't really started on it, but I will soon. So let me just show you some stuff first. Here's my house, and uh, over I've roughed out some of the edges of my house like this used to be a big uh, cave and now this has stairs and it's all nice um, not much has changed my house but you know it's whatever um, I have I hope this sound quality is better and high, louder because my last video was really quiet so um, I'm going to I'm not gonna start building a computer now but for now I've decided that I want I'm gonna show you some logic gates that I will be using and just kind of as an introduction so let's go to them now here is an AND gate an AND gate requires both inputs to be on for the output to be on, or both inputs need to be one for the output to be one. And if one input is one and the other input is zero, then the output will be zero. Here is a truth table to show you that. Zane, 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 not gate. A not gate can be used to invert the the input into the output. So when the input is on the output will be off. This can be used to extend the length of redstone beyond 15 squares. A NAND gate. A NAND gate is the opposite of an AND gate and so when both inputs are on the output will be off as shown here. Here is a truth table to show that. An or, an or, an or, an or gate. When any of the inputs are turned on, the output turns on. But if any of them are shut off and one still remains, then the output will still be on, as shown here. Here's a truth table with two inputs. This is an, is an, is an X or gate. An X or gate output will be on when the inputs are not equal to each other. But when the inputs are equal to each other, the output will be off. Here is a truth table for the XOR gate. These are just some simple gates that when put together can form, put together in very complex ways, can form computers. And, however, my computer is just going to start out with a simple ALU that can do addition and subtraction and as time goes on I'll add RAM and memory and things like that oh yes and in case you were wondering where I'm going to build my computer here it is ta-da see oh yes and those are some clocks that I'm gonna show you right now here we go here are some basic clocks that I built myself with and in case you in case you don't know what a clock is a clock is almost kind of like a gate that goes on and off by itself. This one's the slowest, this one's medium, and this one's fastest. This one isn't as reliable as the other two, so if I were to build a clock in my computer, which I probably will, I'll probably use this design right here. And yeah. I'm going to start working on the computer soon, and you can expect frequent videos showing my progress on the computer. And kind of as a disclaimer, I'm not trying to compete or be better at than anyone else on YouTube, because I know there are videos like this on YouTube. So, I'm just trying to see if I can do this myself. So, um, 
leave any if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe and thanks for watching bye